Hiya there, it's me, Mr. Midshipman, and I wanted to show you the doodle bug before I stick this uh, Predator motor in there. It's the DB30, and you look like at the New York Craigslist, they want like 300 bucks for one of these, just as it is used now. I don't know if you can't buy them, but it's kind of odd, isn't it? You can get you can't get the DB30, which is the newer model, but you can get the uh, the older model, which is like got the steel fenders on it. This one just is got this slant here. It's kind of like just more comfortable. And I just want to tell you before I tear it out, you really don't have to. This 97cc motor is pretty powerful. But if I'd ever buy one of these again, no. Knowing what I know now, this is the shot off right here, see? But I put another pet cock on here. I wouldn't do any of that stuff first. The first thing I do is stick one of these clutches in it for 50 bucks. Because, and I definitely wouldn't let any of my fat friends that weigh over 150 pounds ride it. So, you go like, ha 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 ha, why didn't you stick it in it? No matter why. Well, I stick the other motor in. This one just rides me around just fine. I'm like uh, 150 pounds and my girlfriend's like 125 pounds. It's like, duh, why should I worry about it? Also, when you get on here, you'll feel like um, it's kind of built for like 9 to 11 year old girls stock. It just puts a log. I mean, it's very safe. It's built for like 9 to 11 year old girls and parents that have at least an acre or two of grass to ride on because it goes to five miles an hour top so they can putz around in the yard and if they fall off it's much safer than getting themselves all caught up in that bicycle spokes and stuff you know you know it's not as high as a 20 inch bicycle that they would normally ride and it's, they don't have to pedal so um, also even me because it's a rigid frame you have to stand on these pegs when you go over some bumps because it will bound, 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 bound your kidneys or whatever. All that stuff. So, there's a handle on the back here, see? That's what's so nice about these the first mini bikes. They didn't use that. And, uh, see, look, I can just pull it up like this by the handle, see? And right here, you want to replace this clutch. With $50 clutch, as I'm showing you right now from HotRodMiniBikes.com. Other than that, here's another place, OldMiniBikes.com. That's where you can get all the parts. Like just about anything for any kind of motor that has to do with OldMiniBikes.com. So, yeah, that's what I would do. I would just like at least spend 300 bucks for one of these that I can do. You can see, uh, I bought mine brand new. And also, this is the original chain. And it has stretched about that much. So you want to get a link remover for the chain. Because it it's not one of those pre-stretched racing chains like on a go-kart. And it will stretch. But once it's pre-stretched like this much, it's pre-stretched. And you can sell it to some go-kart nut for 20-some bucks. But uh, it's the original chain. And right now, you can slide the ends in forward and backward. And I had to slide the engine all the way backward just to get it on. See, there's the master link. And what I'm going to show you is how junky this clutch is unless like I said you're a 90 or 11 year old girl it might last you quite a while it only lasts me about a half an hour and I'm going to show you right now what happens when you let fat people on it yep and they already know that so if you let them on you know damn well they're just going to ruin it because they're having fun breaking your stuff because you are dumb enough to let them see this where the daisies are we're going to come up over this to the daisies and uh, that's what we're going to do right away to show you that the clutch right now is working. And we're also going to show you I've had it for that many years. 
fingers. All right. And I'm going to show you that. Just because the rest of Americans don't take care of their stuff, I do. It looks like brand new, doesn't it? How old is it? Look at the first video I made on this bike. Uh, oh, yeah, one more thing. This thing is really hard to get to the air chuck on there. Because you got to lift it up like this and pull it right through here, see? And then you got it. But there's no way of sliding your air chuck back here or any of that. If you did, you were doing it the wrong way. You got to pull up on this because it's one of those 90 degree uh, valves. And see how nice and located that is now. Perfect. So make sure you do that. But uh, I left the gas on. And I left it on overnight, so I don't know if it's going to start on the pool's first start. See that racing engine? You must have seen that. I have to have a drill driver to start it. And this thing, I don't. So that's it. So you turn it here to off position because it's basically like floods it and chokes it to death and that stops it. And there you got to make sure you turn on this safety switch too. Well, if I didn't turn the safety switch on, it would have started on the first floor. See? And then you can turn it into the, uh, the middle position. And it's kind of worse than a long dollar. You gotta let it warm up. You're starting to do that warm up stuff. You know the weird noise you said it makes? People that had mini bikes love that sound. I know I do. Mini bikes like this. I'll give you the link to it, the hot rod. Hey, what's it called? The hot rod magazine there. Big thing now. People in California just be like cloning the frames, cloning the wheels, putting custom wheels on. I mean, they build these things worse than when Harley Davidson whacked up, you know? Spend all kinds of money. Ah, I got you one thing. Here's one for you, Californians. Because I'm a whacked up too, you know? So, um, how about dual Predator motors, one up to the other one? Boy, oh, that was really good, yeah, you'll see. I'll send you the link. You get to go to these uh, events where you can look at other guys' mini bikes, sidecars, and all kinds of stuff. You get in there with dual motors. I believe they're going to love that. That's someone of a kind, too. It's just so mini bike, isn't it? Now, here's what fat people will do to the mini bike. And tensionally, too. You know, I'm stupid about it, but if you get my age, you'll see it's intentional. Act like they're trying to get up this hill here, and they won't. You gotta get some inertia energy up to get the man and go over it. You just can't sit here and do this.
going on back here is the friction of the clutch. It, uh, I don't know if you know, friction creates heat and they're burning the clutch up for you. And you'll sit all summer and you won't have a need, but nobody's going to buy a clutch. That's why I buy that clutch right away, because it's a good clutch. Hey, they're not American made or something. And they cut for a 518 shaft with this has. And now I'm going to go for a ride and show you how weak the clutch gets. It gets overheated. It's not like I'm burning it out, but if I continue, which I don't think it's possible, because it's so burned out, it just doesn't want to move anymore. I mean, what's the ridiculous that this clutch in this thing? It's a Chinese clutch, and it's for, like I said, it's built for the kind of a lead wheel, but it's just the way I 